Hello students, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve these two problems which says that the lug nut on the wheel of the automobile is to be removed during uh, using the wrench and applying the vertical force of 30 Newton at A. Determine if this force is adequate provided 14 Newton meter of torque about the x-axis is initially required to turn the nut. If the 30 Newton force can be applied at A in any other direction will it be possible to turn the nut so as we can see that we have this uh, 30 newton force which is acting at point a and the distance of point a from that point of rotation is this distance is 0.5 meters and from the y-axis point a is at a distance of uh, 0.3 meters along the y-axis and the total length of this rod is 0.75 meters. So now if we find the moment by using the scalar approach, we can write that by scalar approach, we can say that the moment about the x-axis is this will be equal to the r perpendicular times the force. Now the perpendicular distance of uh, this force f from that point of rotation let's say this point of rotation is let's say point o so the perpendicular distance of this force f from that point o is this distance the distance along the y-axis is the perpendicular distance now we are given this distance we are given this distance which is uh, 0 0.5 and we are given this distance the perpendicular distance so this is a right angle triangle so we can say that this is this is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.3 so we can find that r perpendicular let's say this is that r perpendicular so by using the pythagoras theorem we can say that 0 0.5 square equals to 0 0.3 square plus r perpendicular square and from this we can say that r perpendicular is equal to 0 0.5 square minus 0 0.3 square under the square root so this will give us the perpendicular distance of that vertical force from the from the point of rotation that is from point O so this gives us 0 0.4 meters now I we can find that and as we can see that <clears throat> for scalar approach if you if you look into this so the force is going to rotate uh, this in the di in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive x direction so this means that the moment produced by this vertical force which is applied at point A is going to produce the counterclockwise moment since the thumb is pointing out towards the positive x direction. So we can say that this perpendic the perpendicular distance is 0 0.4 and the force magnitude is 30 so that is the moment about the x axis is this is the magnitude of the moment about the x axis is so this is equal to 0 0.4 multiplied by 30 so this gives us 12 this is 12 Newton meter and this is in the counterclockwise direction now in the problem statement it is said that determine if the force is adequate provided 14 Newton meter of torque about the x-axis is initially required so about the x-axis we are required to have a moment of 14 Newton meter so this 12 Newton meter is less than 14 Newton meter so this force is not adequate 30 Newton force is not sufficient to to lose that nut so then in the problem statement it is further said that if if 30 Newton force can be applied at E in any other direction will it be possible to turn the nut so now let's say that if this force F is acting in the uh, perpendicular direction instead of uh, vertical direction let's see let's say that this force F is now perpendicular to this arm OB this is making 90 degree and still the magnitude is 30 newtons now then we can find the moment about the x-axis is the magnitude of the moment about axis is then by using that scalar approach this will be r perpendicular to the force magnitude and now the perpendicular distance of this 30 newton force which is making 90 degrees this this 30 newton force which is making 90 degree with that uh, ob arm is this distance this is 0 0.5 so now we can say that the perpendicular distance is 0 0.5 multiplied by that 30. So this will give us uh, 0 0.5 is 1 divided by 2. So this will give us 15 
newton meter and this is greater than that 14 newton meter which is required so yes we can say that it is possible to turn the nut if the force is applied is in in any other direction so if the, if the force is applied in a direction in such a way that uh, this 30 newton force is perpendicular with this uh, uh, ob uh, wrench so mm, then it will be possible to lose that nut which requires 14 newton meter torque so this is the solution of this 452 problem now the solution of uh, the solution of 453 problem now in 453 problem it is said that solve problem solve problem 452 if the cheater pipe AB is slipped over the handle of the wrench and the 30 newton force can be applied at any point and in any direction on the assembly. So again we have to find the uh, moment about the x axis is if this force F is applied at any point along this OB line. So let me uh, draw the free body diagram let's say let's say we have uh, this is a wheel. Let's say this is our y axis. We are observing this system from this direction. So, this is my y axis and this is my z axis. And that, that wrench, that pipe EB is somewhere here, let's say. And this is that point B, and somewhere here we have that point A. And if I drop a perpendicular. So this distance is given, this is, we have determined this, this is 0 0.4 and this distance is 0 0.3 and from this point O to that O, uh, this OA length is given, this is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.25. So now the force F can be applied at any point since in the 453 problem it is said that the force can be applied. Uh, along this OB line in any direction. So now let's say that that force F is applied somewhere here which is 30 Newton. So now if you find uh, the moment about the x axis is for problem 453 if the force is applied at point B. So then again we can say that this is R perpendicular times that force F. Now the R perpendicular distance will be if we drop a perpendicular from this point B on to the y axis so now the perpendicular distance will be let's say this point is b dash so this is the perpendicular distance so o b dash this is o b dash is the perpendicular distance times f so we can find this o b dash length if we find this angle theta let me find this angle theta first right this angle theta so now from this small triangle this inner triangle this triangle we can find that theta so our uh, we can say that this OB dash, if, if we know this theta, we can find this OB dash and OB dash is the cost component of that OB length. So we can write that OB dash is OB cos of theta and now from this triangle, we can say that cos of theta is cos of theta is base which is 0.4 divided by hypotenuse. Since this triangle and this triangle they both are similar triangles. So since the angle remains the same so we can find that cos of theta from using this small triangle. So that is cos of theta. So and OB is we know that this OB is this OB is 0.75 this is 0.75. So now we can write that this is 0 0.75 into 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.5 into f, f is again 30 which is vertical. So this will give us, let me find it. So this gives us 18, this is 18 Newton meter. So now yes, we can lose that nut if the, if we can apply the 30 Newton force at any point along the pipe for B. So if we apply the 30 Newton force at point B uh, that is 18 Newton meter and that is greater than that 14 Newton meter torque. So yes we can lose that nut if the force is applied at any uh, at point B uh, on that OB pipe. 
Now we need to generalize the solution. We want to find that at what point along this OB pipe uh, the force will be sufficient, this vertical force will be sufficient to produce that 40 Newton meter torque. So now let's say that the length of this uh, OB is let's say x, let's, let's, may, let's assume that the, the OB length is x, let's see. So now then we can say that uh, M, Mx will be equal to R perpendicular times F. So then we can say that this R perpendicular will be x cos of theta into f and theta will remain the same since theta is not going to change the uh, distance of the force f from the point O along the pipe will change right. So then we can say that if cos of theta remains the same this is cos of theta is 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.5. This x is actually the distance of the uh, force f from the point O, right? So if the force, if this 30 Newton force is applied somewhere here, then the x will be from O to this point E. And if the force is some applied somewhere here, then this will be our x. So now we want to find that distance of the force f from that point O, which will be sufficient to produce that same 14 Newton meter torque. So this is, this is, we can say that this is x cos of theta is 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.5 into f, f magnitude is same, that is 30 newton, 30 newton and this must be equal to 14. Now from this we can find that x, so x will be equal to 14 into 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.4 divided by 30. So now this is, 14 multiplied by 0 0.5 divided by 30 into 0 0.4. So this gives us x equals to 0 0.58 meters. So now if we look into this diagram, so the x is, the x must be greater than 0.58, right? If the x, the, the position of that force f from point O along the pipe must be greater than 0.58. If it is less than 0.58 and if the force is acting vertically downward then the then the torque produced will not be sufficient, right? So we can say that from, let's say that somewhere here is 0.58 distance from this point O. Uh, at point A the distance is 0.5, so 0.58 will be somewhere here, let's say. Let's say that this is that point which is at a distance of 0.58. So now if we move this force up to this point, so until this point uh, the, the torque is sufficient to lose that nut and below this point 0 0.58 the force will, this vertical force will not be sufficient to produce that 14 Newton meter torque. So yes we can produce the torque for x greater than 0 0.5, greater than equal to 0 0.58 meters and considering that the force is 30 Newton and it is acting in the downward direction that is the vertical force. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe much.